Right, good morning everyone. Okay, we're out on the green stuff again today. We've got uh, quite a nice place to go to today. It's, um, there used to be a castle here. It's an abandoned one. There's Steve, look. There's the back of him. I want to that. Uh, yeah, there's a castle over there. I think it was abandoned. It was built in the 12th century and then abandoned in the 16th century, Steve. Is that what it uh, I believe so, yeah, about the 13th century, and then I think they got rid of it in the 16th century. It's an old history booklet, yeah, so 12th, 13th century, we give it that. You know, give or take 100 years, it don't really matter. Um, so, that, yeah, there's a castle in the woods there. Apparently the woods were actually planted by the Romans. So the possibility here, it could be quite good, the outcome. But then again, you know what it's like, you never know. Now you've just jinxed it. Yeah, I know, I just jinxed it, we're going to find bugger all. Okay, well, this is where we're going. Watch out for the geese. There's some uh, lively geese here, but fortunately they're around the other side at the moment. They haven't seen us, so well, I guess later on they'll they catch up with us. All right, well, we'll see you on the first decent hole. All right, that's me, um, I would say first hole. I've dug a few holes, a bit of lead. I know it's nothing much, but uh, there's anything that's really of any value. <laughs> nothing on it. A little line but I don't think there's anything there yeah there's a lot of iron here a lot of iron um, I dug a bottle top a bit of crap um, nothing yet but uh, so there's a lot of iron so sort of trying to wiggle out anything in between the iron really I guess that's why it was such a good sight the, uh, whoever made the castle years ago okay I'll well, carry on uh, just pull this out I guess it's some sort of farm machinery. It's got a hole on either side, and it is brass. You can see where I caught it with a spade there. Um, some sort of piston or something, maybe? I don't know. It's got some other metal in there as well, though, so. I don't know. Hmm. Answer on a postcard. It's got a piston, so something I think went up and down by looks at, and uh, something went in between. Bit of leverage, something like that, I reckon. Probably a bit of farm machinery. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, I just filled a hole in, run the detector over, and there was another bit. So um, we had the curve coming over. It's got a wheel, so it obviously went in there. So it's some sort of roller. Yeah. Oh well, I'll show you them both complete, but the other bit became a hedge fodder. So I won't carry that, got be lump of rubbish around me. Right, okay. Well, Steve's over there, he's digging away. You can see him probably just about. He's uh, it's got a whole load of signals there, so it could be rubbish tip or it could be, uh, who knows. Anyway, carry on. On to the next one. Right, guys, right. You can see the spade there, it's a the target there, just in front. No sign of iron. It's coming up as a 21, eight inches down. So, uh, We'll dig it up and see what it is, eh? Right, guys, well, that was a bit of a job. Dig that one out. That was a good 10 inches easy. Uh, and that's what it was. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's copper. Hollow. Um, it could just be a bent piece of pipe and it's been crushed up this end. Why it's a bit more narrower than the wide end of this end. Or it could be a, a pterodactyl claw. Rawr, rawr. You reckon? <laughs> Okay, well, we'll carry on. Right, guys, uh, it's got a little target just there. Not very deep. Who knows what that is then? I think that's off an umbrella. So that'd be what? Uh, early century to Victorian. I'm pretty sure what that is. Haven't found one in for a while. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an umbrella, or remains of an umbrella. So there has been people here with something. All right, moving on. I don't know what I have spied. It's right there. Not very big, but mmm, look at that, blackberries. No worm been touching that one. I shouldn't eat them though because I'm on a diet and they're full of sugar, but I guess one or two wouldn't hurt. 
Mm, very nice, very sweet. Mm. Yummy. I'm kind of looking for, really. Just dawned on me. Yeah, that's right. Right, this is a, a cob nut tree. A bit like hazelnuts. I can see some, but they're up high. So, uh, unless I see any low down, I'm not going to get them. A bit of right time to pick them now as well. Hmm. Bugger. They're too high up, I can't get them. If I see one, I'll uh, pick it and I'll show you. Right, back to detecting. There you go, guys, look. These are cob nuts. That's what it looked like outside of the um, the husk. You put them in the air and cover and let them dry out to winter, like little hazelnuts. And that's what comes out. Little nut like that. Mmm, lovely. Mmm, very good. I'll save them a couple later. But yeah. So, I mean, you could pick a pick a bag of these and put them in the air and cupboard, let them dry out a bit. Come Christmas time, we haven't got to buy any nuts, have you? Little top tip for you. Hedgerow pickings. All right, let's carry on. Right, I found, um, <clears throat> you know, it describes a stud. A bit of shape to it. Little pin on there. So obviously, it's iron. But, uh, do you know what it looks like? It's got a crown on there to me. Let me wet that a second. It definitely seems to be have something on there. But why would you have a crown on a stud? Mm, could just be the way it's rusted. I don't know. It's old. It might. Might be able to clean that up. That come in has. That comes in as iron, doesn't it? It definitely comes in as iron, minus seven, but the target I was digging, what I thought I was digging was about uh, 28. <sighs> oh, I'll keep hold of that. Hmm. Don't know if it's old or not old now. Alright, see if we can find the original target, or if that case it was it. Alright guys, we've stuck that hole there, which is about... Uh, about a length of pinpointing, which is what? Uh, shouldn't have come here, should not really? It is... 8 inches, so 8 inches down. Bit of a scratchy signal. And um, we've just got the end of a 303 case. That's why it's so scratchy. Barely, barely registering, to be honest. But, yeah, okay, well, it's, uh, it's something. <laughs> Steve's all right, he's getting buttons. He likes his buttons. Right, on to the next one. Right, guys, just had this hole. And we have... Uh, what appears to be... A musket ball. Yeah. What it is? Yeah, it's got a dimple there. It's white lead, quite heavy. Yeah, it's a musket ball. Cool. So there is some history here after all. Okay. It's not 12th century, but it certainly looks like a musket ball to me. Nice. Oh, tell you what, I'm going up and down this hill. Steve's down there. I'll have another shift you around this bit here, never know. We'll find some more. Right, let's see you on the next one. All right, guys, put up a big ass belt buckle. Or a big, uh, big buckle, at least, anyway. Bit of a beast, isn't it, that one? Okay, cool. Moving on. All right, guys, so uh, let's dug up with that. Which is a pipe fitting, a bit of brass. Not exactly what I wanted. Uh, yeah, we're in a bit of disaster actually. Look, look at my spade. You see that? It's bending and contracting. 
Well, it hasn't started to split yet. It's an evolution spade. Um, I'm not quite sure how old it is. Maybe it's starting to go there, I think. I think it's probably about uh, not much more than a year old, maybe two years. But it hadn't had a lot of use, really, considering. Yeah, it's probably two years old, maybe. Oh, God. Got to be careful. That's what I've got. I've got another spade for me today. Look at that. Look at that. That's knackered. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Oh, God. Be careful with it. Um, it's bending like buggery. I guess I guess we'll have to visit Blackadder at the detective it, way. That's only a couple of days away, isn't it, guys? What's that? Uh, four days? Four more, four more days at work. All right. See how we get on. See you in a bit. <laughs> 